You know, it's very easy to deceive eyes. Now, this is my two-channel preamplifier. Rather messy inside, but that's okay. On the outside, this is the first gain of the first preamp. This is the second gain for the first preamp. And that's the LED for overload. That's the first gain for the second preamp. And second for the second, of course. And that's, again, the... Uh, here is the phantom power switch on and off. So this guy is the number one for this guy and number two for that. And, of course, the indicators. And this is the power on switch. And... Um, this is an indicator basically for the power. So let's switch it on. Okay, we got power. And if I switch on the phantom for this guy, I guess the overload LED might just come on for some time. Okay, it didn't. That's fine. That's actually better. And that's the second um, phantom power. So both have phantom power, which is individual. Um, Inside, unfortunately, it's not a very pretty sight. But that's okay. I can live with that. I didn't have the time to actually drill holes and make this look really neat, but that's all right. And I also didn't have a R core transformer there. I'm using a regular 18018 there. So I didn't give a damn. Okay, so that's what it is. And uh, these guys are big, the Alps, of course. The Alps are really, really clean faders, the plastic faders, of course. And when I check this out a little more, I'll give you an update on this. Cheers.